We are on the Warner Ladder stunt set for the fourth and final time. Again, we have done the bracket challenge, Greeny and I, for 11 uh, uh, March Madness seasons, and I ended up 7-4 and four against him. I four-sheeted him. And this is the final payoff. Remember, th this morning already, Greeny had his eyebrows waxed, which he enjoyed. He sang a Vanilla Ice song, which he did really well. He competitively ate with pizza and did a pretty good job at that. And now, Mark, he is going, and he's done this once before, He's going to do it again to, to send off the bracket wager into the ether. He's going to milk a cow. And uh, I've got to be honest. This is one beautiful cow that you're about to milk. Well, Vanessa I, is yeah, a, uh, yeah. a sharp-looking cow. Well, I, you know, I don't mean to beg to differ, but why is she drooling like that? Well, I mean, we're going to talk to Chris here. Chris, before we get to the drooling, my partner wanted to know, as Vanessa was, was being walked in, before he heard the name, he wanted to know, is this a male cow or a female cow? Whatever he wants it to be, but I think she's a female. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What's with the drool? Okay, though? what's with all the drool? I think she's just happy to see him. But uh, <laughs> it, uh, they drool sometimes because when, basically when a cow eats, they eat really fast like these guys in the food contest, and then they store it up for later. But they don't really chew it completely, so then they'll regurgitate it when they're chilling out, and you'll see them laying down chewing, and basically they kind of spit up what's their cud, and it kind of comes back up in their mouth, and they rechew it, and then it goes back down again. That may what do you think of that, Greeny? That may be the most horrible thing I've ever had anyone say to me in my entire life. And so what that is, is I don't even want to talk about it. Is there that any is. chance that while Greeny is at the other end milking the cow, that, that, that Vanessa could flip her head and he could get some spit on him? She could if I let her live, if I let her have her head to here and don't hold it real tight. I'll tell you right now, if you do that, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How glasses on they won't end up in they're your not eyes. safety Chris. glasses these are vanilla ice glasses <laughs> they're officially licensed by the vanilla how, ice institute how often during a milking session does a cow actually maybe relieve itself during a milking session? does that ever happen it does sometimes like not all the time but sometimes Depends okay, so there is a chance of that happening. That's what I'm praying for yeah. right now. Okay, so last time Greeny, Greeny milked a, a cow, there was supposedly 40 pounds that could have been milked. He got half an ounce and missed the next day because his... I had milker's wrist. Yeah, milker's wrist. So he didn't do a great job. So what, what is the technique? How, tell, go through what he should be doing here. When you, when you milk a teat, what you kind of do is you make a ring with your thumb and your first finger, and then you kind of wrap the rest of the fingers down as you're milking. So what it does is it kind of seals off the top, and then when you put, it kind of traps the milk in that teat, and then when you squeeze it with the rest of the fingers, kind of wrapping it around, it pulls, you know, it kind of squeezes it out the end of the teat. Did you understand that? Not really. No, I didn't think so. No. Okay, so how should he approach one, Vanessa? Uh, carefully. Uh, put your hand out there. Kind of like you're on a date, you know, and just put your hand on the side and kind of like work yourself in over into that area. So are you suggesting to me that when I was on a date, I would put my hand on a woman's side and work my way into the area? If it works for you. If okay. It, if you got a game, Here we go. go nice with it. dog. I mean, cow. That's a, that's a cow. It's a cow. Okay. Hey, this isn't the same cow as last time. No, and talk to her. That way she kind of knows you're okay, there so she Vanessa, won't kick at I'm you. I'm here. I'm here. I'm going to sit on this little Werner bench. And I'm going to be careful with the little bench because, you know, you don't if she swings quick, she's kind of swinging towards me a little bit here. Yeah, I'm going to move can, the bench. Kinda, you can just kind of squat down. And do it yeah, I'm going to lose the bench. Fine. Yeah. OK, now the, the, the bucket is not underneath. Well, the, put the bucket where it belongs. Want, you can yeah. kind of position the teats wherever you want the bucket. Is that right? It does. Uh, I okay. should I should okay. have them bring my cup of coffee and just here milk it right and, into my coffee. And here if you're I ambidextrous, go. you can we do that? Both hands here we go. Am I OK here? Seriously. Is he good? So he can go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah. Greeny's about okay. to milk a cow. All right, oh I'm going to milk this cow. Okay, here we go. Be firm. There we go. And then, out, oh, look at that. Put it in the bucket. Move the bucket well, over the bucket there. Greeny, not, Greeny okay. actually ah. got milk out of the out of the teat, but but he missed the bucket. Are his gloves fitting fine? His gloves seem to be fine. He, he is. milking gloves on. He is trying to milk. There is milk. There is milk coming out right now. This is way better than last time. Vanessa seems to be cur perfectly comfortable wow. with uh, having her teeth in your hand at this point. Creamer in his sleeve or something? No, let me yeah, see. No, no coffee creamer in his sleeve. Oh! Oh, oh yes! there it is! Yes! Oh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen! Yes! Yes! My prayers have been answered! Okay, for those Thank listening you, on the radio, the Vanessa just relieved herself in the midst of Greeny doing what I think was a wonderful that job. And when I say relieved herself, I don't mean number one.
It was it was not number one, and it pretty much splashed everywhere. Greeny, Greeny, did it get on you at all anywhere? Yes, it did. It I, did. You now have cow poop on you. I um I get, currently, get by the after. way, I want you guys to know I'm currently taking prayer requests because that my prayer was answered. You have so never. You want to see me after the show? You have never seen Greeny move so fast in his life. Now, I didn't see it. Now I, I'm standing at the front of the cow. I didn't see it coming. All of a sudden, quite honestly, I heard it first. Did you? I did. I, I heard the plop. And as I looked over, there was a whole lot of plopping going on. Greeny threw the bucket and ran off stage. Can I just, Greeny, I, come on back up. Come on. Vanessa, thank you so much. You made my day. <laughs> this was the best thing that's ever happened right now. And I wow. You, cow. I really think that was the best of both worlds. Greeny, it, it, before, let, let's go before that happened. <laughs> Greeny, you, you, you got poo on your you shoe. You have poo on, and, and, and you know what? In all honesty, I think there's a little bit of poop in your beard. I'm going to require a new pair of pants and a new pair of shoes. I have the gold pants, thankfully, so I can put those back on. <laughs> but before that happened, though, you you, you you were impressive with the milking. It, it was coming out you know, just fine. In all honesty, the milking is a distant memory for me right now. Yeah, yeah. The milking, you want to talk about burying the lead yeah. on this thing? You have you have splattered poop all over you. And all, all kidding aside, I'm going to need someone's pants. <laughs> Uh, someone roughly my size. And a vat of, uh, of your... Uh, well, there isn't enough Purell on the planet at this point to do anything about this. <laughs> well, now, let me ask you a quick, quick question. The, the boots and, and the pants have been soiled. Will you actually try to wash those pants, or will you just throw them away? Throw them away. Yeah. They will be gone. Yes. Here at ESPN. So, uh, <laughs> again, a quick recap on the last of these uh, bracket wagers for the day. Greeny was milking the cow very well on the Warner Ladder stunt stage here. And in the process, Vanessa, really no other way to say it, started to poop. And it splattered everywhere, got on Greeny, he threw the bucket and ran off stage. And the beautiful thing is, a little later on ESPN.com, if you didn't get to see it, you'll get to see it again. And again and again and again. So, Chris, uh, bef uh, what did you think of this overall experience? I thought he did a good job, but that's the element of the surprise that, you know, you'll be milking him sometimes and you're like, ah. Oh. Damn. So, so in, in in all honesty, if someone's milking that cow and the cow does that, does the milker usually just stay and finish the job? Yeah, you're kind of there and committed, and usually, usually by the end of the day, you're dirty anyway. So that's just part of the deal. Wow. Well, thanks, Chris, very much. Yeah, and Vanessa, about as thank much you. Yeah, chance that I'm going back on that end of this cow at this point. I will say this: your tip was excellent. So that's why I was doing pretty well. I mean, I had it going there. You did. You you had it going I well. I had that this thing milked. And then Vanessa wanted to be the star of the show. That too, because especially if you're hand milking them, little short teats, you can't get enough of your hand around. Yeah. And that, that, because we have some with really short teats, and you try to hand milk them, and it's impossible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Greeny did anything wrong that actually made this happen? Yes. Was, that, was there something he did that? I think that was just luck. And <laughs> it's funny how it worked out. And we're all better for it, yes. except for Greeny. Thank you, Chris, very much. And thank you, Vanessa. Uh, I don't even know what to say it, on that. I, I mean, Twitter has <sighs> exploded. Um, More than Vanessa? No. <laughs> no, one, no one will ever explode quite like that cow just did. Let the record show my daughter, Nikki, is very happy she came today. Wow. I, I've never seen anyone laugh that hard in my entire life. I, I, uh, I, I am just stunned. Well, Mark, first out of you, you called it. I yes. I mean, that was a nice job well, out of you. Well, Vanessa and I had this connection. Uh, could could we, you tell at some yeah, point? We were, was I, I was talking to her before the whole segment rolled out, yeah. just trying to calm her down. And we just, we connected this, I mean, whoosh, laser right, beam, right? right. right? Little, and little, I just little felt cow like, whisperer. yeah, I felt like something was brewing there. Oh and, yeah. Uh, certainly it was. It was brewing all right. At what point did you realize what was happening? No, then? you know what? It actually took a second to be completely honest with you. I was really excited because I was doing well. You were. I was milking the cow. That guy, what was his name, Chris? Chris. His tip was really good. His tip about the tea. Which is what you have to do for, I don't even know how to explain it, but if you're doing it, you can sort of get the milk to go into it, and then you squeeze it out right, you with your finger. Firm with the, with the thumb and the forefinger to get the milk in there, and then roll and on I down. And I was so happy. The last time we did this, I, get, I didn't get any milk no, out of the cow hardly ounce. at all. Half an ounce. So I was really kind of feeling good. And uh, and and then and then it went 
went downhill and I, heard, I didn't even know what happened. I heard something oh. and then I looked up and I realized what it was and I just ran as fast as I could. I, mean, I didn't know what else to do. And it got on my shoes well, and my as, pants. As Chris said, most would have just stayed there and finished the job. I yeah, mean, well, most you know, most can kiss my you-know-what. Yeah, and I'll tell you yeah. that right now. I'm not, I'm not, Don't I, go anywhere Vanessa's you-know-what. I'm know not what. getting anywhere near a cow again as long as I live. I'd like to go home now. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.